we have a very important speaker, Ms. Jenny Kwan, Member of Parliament to which Chinatown belongs, Vancouver East MP, Ms. Kwan. Thank you very much, uh, David. Thank you for the very kind uh, introduction. Let me uh, first uh, acknowledge the First Peoples, the Musqueam, the Squamish, and the Tsleil-Waututh people for allowing us to live, to work, and to play in your unceded traditional territories. We're gathered here today to do important work, and I want to acknowledge them. I also want to acknowledge the veterans who are seated behind me, standing behind me as well, for the vision and dream that they had. We're gathered here today, why? Because our community is threatened with a development, 105 Kiefer Street. Why is this a threat to our community? If you think about the development and what's in it and what's being proposed, you have to ask this question. How does that development contribute to the character and the history of Chinatown? How does it contribute to the preservation of historic Chinatown? And I think that you will see, and why we're all gathered here today, the answer is that it doesn't. In fact, it does the very opposite. It threatens the history of Chinatown. It threatens the future of Chinatown. The veterans, so many years ago, went out and fought for what I could enjoy today. The right to stand before you as an elected official. We were not allowed to vote. We were not even recognized in any way, shape, or form. But because of them, we here and I stand here before you as an equal. That's what they fought for. And And there is something really wrong that we have Second World War veterans that are here today fighting, fighting to preserve that memory, that history, and their contributions. This project, 105 Kiefer Street, if approved, will be 118 feet high, 12 stories. It is an enormously massive building that will overshadow this beautiful memorial square that honors the first Chinese Canadians who came and fought for our rights. This is our 150th anniversary of our country. Without the railroad workers, we may not have this anniversary this year today. They were instrumental in linking British Columbia to the rest of the country in building that railway. They suffer immensely they had the most dangerous jobs, the hardest work, the lowest pay, and they toiled and they risked their lives to build this railway so that today we can stand here and celebrate our 150th anniversary. This, this building will cast a shadow, it will loom over this monument behind me. It will overcast what I call the oasis of our city, the Dr. Sonia Sen Gardens. Where else do you find in North America a gem like that in the heart of the city, in a very busy intersection of the downtown east side in Chinatown? Right here in our own backyard. And this building will cast shadows and will loom over it in an unbelievable way. Likewise with the Chinese Cultural Center that is just right next door. So why do we need to fo go forward with this project? I would say that we don't. I know that people will say, but what is the future of Chinatown? You have challenges. I get it that we have challenges, but it does not mean to say to overcome those challenges that our effort would be to erase that history. We survived fires in the early days of the city. We, the city burned down. Chinatown rebuilt and rose from the ashes. We suffered and were attacked with a riot because of racial discrimination. And we managed to survive that too and live to tell the story another day. And then there was the freeway. 
There was an attempt to drive through the heart of Chinatown, erase this community with the freeway. And the community gathered and said, no way, we will not let this happen. So today, 2017, we're fighting redevelopment pressures. And I have to tell you that we can stop this redevelopment. And I am calling once again for City Council to listen with your heart. Listen with your heart to the people, of the voices of the people in our community. It's an unusual alliance, really, in, in many sense, that we're all gathered here, across the spectrum, across generations. And as the MP for Vancouver East, I've heard from many, many people who said to me that you must stand up to say no to 105 Kiefer. And I've had people who are not from the Chinese community who came forward and said exactly the same thing to me. People from Gastown said that to me as well, for example. Residents in the Gastown community came and said to me, you know what, this cannot happen to the history of our city. So we're gathered here to say no. Now, I want to offer this. People will say, but if it doesn't go ahead, what will happen? The decline of Chinatown will continue. Let me say this that there are people out there who, if we want to. Taking the easy road to revitalize is about redevelopment. Bringing in luxury condos is sometimes always the answer. But we know that that is not the solution. And it doesn't provide you the important work and options that's available to us if you shut out this opportunity today with the approval of 105. I would also say this that all levels of government need to come and be a partner in this. The federal government just this year, we just unveil a plaque just a little less than a month ago, right? To recognize historic Chinatown as a national treasure. That plaque will mean nothing. It will mean nothing we don't do actual work to preserve Chinatown and to pres preserve its history and to add to that history and to add to that culture. So I will call on the federal government to invest in our community. We can purchase this site as one option and then have it develop in such a way that meets the needs of our community. We can do a land swap as another option to have this kind of development go somewhere else that fits that narrative of those neighborhoods much better than what it does here. There are options before us. So the answer, so the answer to this is very simple. If you can dream it about the future of what our community looks like, it can happen. Our veterans dreamt that. They went to war and fought for it with conviction. So today is up to us, the next generation, to walk the walk with our veterans who risk so much, who suffer so much, the railroad workers who lost lives, to walk with them to honor their history to honor their contributions and to save Chinatown. It is possible. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny, for that eloquent uh, speech and uh, for speaking up and standing up for Chinatown.